Hi, I'm Rick Burnley, editor of Kayak Angler Magazine, and I'm here today with the brand new uh, New Canoe Flint. Uh, this boat is uh, 11 feet 3 inches long, 33 inches wide, um, it only weighs 63 pounds without the seat, 73 pounds with the seat, uh, so what that translates into is kind of a pocket fisherman uh, that you know has some legs on it too. I mean you can fish this boat even though it's small and light and narrow, uh, relatively narrow, uh, it's a it's a real fishy kayak. And that's exactly what New Canoe designed it for this year. Um, you know they have uh, in their lineup of boats they're kind of missing a smaller pocket boat plus this boat comes in at a less than a thousand dollars and it's got tons of features that they brought over from uh, some of their other more expensive models. Um, that you know you're not going to miss it's not like a bargain boat at all um, starting in the stern uh, this stern uh, well area is big enough for a smaller crate not for a full size crate but for a smaller crate gear tracks back there make it easy to tie that crate down four rod holders uh, and these rod holders are angled um, you know to keep the rods in line with the kayak so that if they're, they're not hanging off to the side get caught up in um, sticks and you know trees and docks and stuff like that um, one of the favorite features of this, they redesigned a new seat, the pinnacle um, seat for this boat. Uh, it's on a track so you can move it forward and back by loosening up some knobs in the gear track. The whole thing slides forward and back. You can adjust it on the water. You know, mesh padding, mesh back, plenty of support. Um, you know, just a good solid seat. Uh, it's not the 360 seat that they put on some of their other boats, but it, it's inspired by that comfort, you know, technology, and uh, and it turns into a pretty good seat for uh, for all day fishing. Um, one of the other things that they were real proud about doing, they worked really hard on with this boat, was some of their other boats have either internal supports or kisses inside the hull that stay, uh, stiffen up the deck, so you can stand up without the deck bending. This boat they were able to design without any of that uh, internal supports, that uh, foam block and stuff that they put in some of the other boats. This doesn't have any of that in there. The, all the uh, support is, uh, you know, um, uh, comes from the design of the deck, the way that they put the scuppers in, and then the, uh, the channeling that they did on the deck gave it extra strength as well. And uh, they were able to uh, build the kayak without any kind of internal supports, which of course saves, uh, saves weight and is a much more clean design. Um, moving through, they've got, you know, some, some recesses for tackle boxes, more gear tracks. The, the bow is open. There's a small hatch in the stern, uh, mostly for rigging a rudder or uh, internally rigging. Uh, you can put a small outboard or a, a uh, trolling motor on this. So if you're running wires to a uh, transducer or something like that, that, that hatch is really handy for that. No hatch in the bow, which again, on a lot of these stand-up pocket boats, uh, you don't need a hatch. You're not going camping in this thing. You're not, you know, storing your rods inside of it. It's more convenient to have an open area in the bow where you can throw your lunch or you can throw your drinks. Um, they also have a um, uh, like a, a plastic console that goes on these tracks right here that's like kind of pre-drilled for um, electronics and rod holders too so it's in front of where your feet are you've still got an area where you can mount accessories and stuff up in front of you. Um, this here is a um, is a molded well for a hog trough measuring board so you can just stick your hog trough up under here and this little bungee holds it in so you know they kind of thought of everything with this boat they say that they uh, you know borrowed a lot of the design features and things um, off of this boat another cool thing about it one of my favorite things that is not available on any of their other boats is this combination paddle holder uh, side handle so yep it's a side handle like that when you're on the water this uh, this channel here fits a paddle and holds your paddle and that's a great feature and you won't find that on any of the other new canoe boats but a lot of the other stuff you may recognize from the other new canoes certainly some of the design features the open you know kayak that's why the canoe in the name it's an open kayak from the stern to the bow so you can you know rig it any way you want it, it, it even has the uh, um, option of a second seat for a kid or a dog uh, that you can add to it uh, people love these boats for family boats for boats to bring your pets along with or you know rig it up with a motor and use it as a small skiff almost uh, we'll paddle it and this thing paddles just fine it's got um, a little bit of forgiven secondary primary stability but rock solid secondary you can't you can stand all the way on one side of this thing and not flip it over but it definitely moves a little bit and what that does is it improves the performance and the paddling but it's still rock solid stable easy to stand up in for an 11 foot 3 inch boat this boat is great um, 
you know, in backwaters and stuff like that, where they found a lot of people of it uh, on rivers because, um, first of all, oh, it also has the uh, horizontal rod holders and little cups in the bow that hold the rod tips, and then the rods lay horizontally down each side of the boat. And they, like I said, the the rear rod holders are angled in, so it makes a great river boat. You can go under trees and you know through the woods and uh, not get your rods all tangled up. Plus, it's got a you know pretty uh, pretty shallow draft. It's a small boat and it's light, so it just bounces over the rocks. Great river fishing boat. Eight scuppers to drain the water away in these big channels, keep the water from filling up the kayak. Um, again, New Canoe really brought all their best design ideas to this Flint, and then you know. Cut it the price in half and uh, and uh, you know kept it under a thousand dollars. So this is a great kayak, second kayak or a, you know pocket kayak for small spots, grab and go boat. Um, you know this thing will find a lot of uses and it'll fit a lot of areas. And uh, we've been real happy with it and enjoyed paddling it around. I'm Rick Burling from Kayak Angler Magazine, and you're hooked up.